Hi there and welcome to Vox Singing Academy's Singing Tip of the Week, episode number 26. My name is Peter Vox and I am the Director and Principal Teacher of Vox Singing Academy. And this episode is about don't try to sound like anyone else. Develop your own singing style and personality. Now I know that this is sometimes hard when we're first learning songs because we're going to be singing along with your favourite artist, but don't really try to copy their tone or personality. Develop your own tone and personality. Every voice is different. Every voice is like a, sorry about my squeaky chair, every voice is like a fingerprint. There are no two voices uh, that are alike, and every voice has its own personality. Some people have clean voices, some people have dirty voices, but when you're singing, try to sing in your own personality and your own style, particularly to do with phrasing. Phrasing means the way people say something. So if I say something slow or a phrase is being held out, Definitely try to incorporate this, but not the person's personality that you're singing along to. Unless you're in a tribute band or if you're a professional um, that's singing in theater uh, or drama because you want to basically play out the part. So if you're in a tribute band, yes, we want to sound exactly like the person if you want to be very successful in the tribute band. But when you're singing, try to develop your own style and your own personality. But the main point is, is make sure that you're singing in key and in pitch. That's the main thing. Now, if you're having trouble doing this, if you're singing along to your favorite artists and you think that you mimic uh, the, the particular artist, the best way to get out of this is to do some scales. So we have lots of scales on this channel and go through and do the scales. And with the scales, you should be doing them in your own personality and your own style. Then you just basically want to take that same feel and, that, and what you're doing in the scales and sing the song. Now, the best way to develop this as well too is learn the song with the artist, but then go with a karaoke version or a backing track version of the song to develop your own style and record yourself. Now, if you think that you're still really sounding like the artist and mimicking the artist, try to do a different artist or a style or a genre that's completely different. So say for instance, you're doing a fast tempo rock song, do a slow ballad by someone else and see whether that can break the habit. But it's really important that you develop your own personality and your own style. It's a lot more fun just to be able to express yourself naturally and really coming to terms with your voice and accept your voice for what it is and what it can do. Um, and you know, a lot of people can't sing that high or sing as low as their favorite artists. Just accept that, accept what your voice can do, find its sweet spot where you sound the best and sing in that area and enjoy your singing. Until the next video, please give us a like, thumbs up if you like this, click share. Uh, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want me to um, answer a question regarding uh, the voice or if you want me to uh, answer any of your questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, be polite and until the next video, peace and much love and I will see you then. Bye-bye.